the um when we think when we think about spirituality and incorporating that into pet parenting into the relationship that we have with our pets i know like it's just the tip of the iceberg but one of the things that i recommend to pretty much all of my clients is to every day for at least 10 or 15 minutes put on a youtube meditation with their pets in the room or their pet in the room and i'm like i know this is a really small thing but there's always so much pushback like that's the one thing they want to like dig in on and they're like i don't have time for that i'm like you need to make time for this <laughs> and maybe meditation won't be for you and that's okay you can find meditation and taking a walk in nature or you know other things but like get started and bring yourself in the present in the moment and allow your pet to do that as well um and i i i really like to see like what happens when they intentionally do that with their pet because i know if i am with my cats and i'm meditating there are certain ones of them that will get right by my legs and like lay right against my legs and there are certain ones that want to be on my chest or around my head if i'm doing it with my dog she is right next to me as well she's like right by my side and like right next, pushed up next to me so like i know there's value in in it for them as well how do you how do you make sense of that <laughs> for me you just did a beautiful job because you know we share that energy flow with our pets and they are super good judges of our own energy flow meaning that your smooth energy flow like a smoothly flowing river is how you are when you're operating you know in the meditative zone or when you're just Thoughtless, which is what I was just so sorry about that. No, it's fine. But um, conversely, when we get anxious, when we get upset, when we get stressed, the heart pets are able to sense that as well, and that again is a shared energy that you know the meditation is helping to smooth out, but. A lot of people are not going to meditate with their with their animals, if at all. So, like Eckhart, I just ask people to please just take a couple of conscious breaths a couple times a day. And that is enough, and I have um, seen lives transformed just by people liking it so much that they ended up doing three or five or ten, and then they said, "Oh, I had to start meditating." So, yeah, um, and we have these great, great, beautiful vehicles for doing that, and that's just look at your dog, look at your cat's eyes, and you're you're right in the now with them. Your mind is, is free of all thoughts about the future, worry, anxiety, even if it's for only three seconds a day or three seconds a couple times a day. And that, that's the beginning, because the reality is, whether we know it or not, it's there. The energy, the spirit is all around us. We are swimming in energy. I mean, the magician whose name was Albert Einstein taught us that mass and energy are interchangeable. That all those oxygens, are, it's like the, the, um, the joke fish in the fishbowl, and one of the fish is swimming by and asks, how's the water, guys? And said, the other fish said, water, what water, what's water? Yeah. You know, we don't even know it's there, and, and it can be harnessed through that spirit. And yes, the more you are able to quiet your mind, the more that you're able to focus on the now, like animals are always doing, they're mm -hmm. always focusing on the now the more that we can help them bring us into that presence, the better. The it actually better the world will be. Yeah, actually that that's so very true. 